So we're getting ready to leave this campground that we're at. We're at the Thousand Trails in Gunnison, Colorado. And I wasn't sure if I, I would have time today, but it looks like I do have a little bit of time. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a look at this camp at this campground. Um, we've had a few people ask us out on the road if we've ever been to this campground because it's the only campground, sorry, the only Thousand Trails campground in Colorado and we're from Colorado so they kind of thought oh maybe they've been there um, until the last few weeks they hadn't but we wanted to try it out since it's in our Thousand Trails membership and we have really enjoyed it here um, back when we just RV'd uh, on the weekends we would a lot of times we'd just go out camping in the mountains uh, we would just dry camp, and this feels a lot like that, but we have full hookups. So uh, we have really enjoyed it because of that. It kind of gives it that feel without having to uh, watch your water and sewer and um, run generators or have solar. So that's been really great. So let's start out first. Um, I'll give you a little tour of our site. So we're in um, what they call a premium or premier site. I think it was premium. And the only reason it is that is because of uh, the 50 amp. So if you need 50 amp, you're going to want to look for one of those sites. They are fairly limited. So um, if you need one, then I don't know, maybe get your right at check-in if it's a busy time. We started out in a 30 amp spot, just stayed there one night and kind of scoped out to see who was leaving the next day. And then we um, moved. So that is something you could possibly do as well. So like we had to do, I think it was maybe Dallas or Houston, I don't remember, but um, we did have to pay a little extra for the 50 amp. Um, it was, the, I think it was $5 a day. So it was $100 for the whole time we were here. Um, so not bad at all, really. Definitely worth it if you need air conditioning or anything like that. This Thousand Trails does work like um, some others. Maybe if, if you've been like to uh, Thousand Trails Orlando, TTO, uh, you get to pick your own spot here as well like that. Uh, they did not guide us to a spot or they kind of gave us an idea of where there might be an opening. Um, we ended up going with something else. So that's just something to be aware of. And then my parents actually came one weekend and they don't need 50 amp and they wouldn't let them uh, use a 50 amp spot. So that's something else to think about too. They are, they too, I think they do try and be aware of that and save those spots for the people that really need them. So that is nice. So most of the sites, well, pretty much all of them, <laughs> they are dirt. Um, there's some evidence of gravel being added at one time in, all, in uh, some of them, uh, but it's mostly dirt. We had a rug out or, um, for today and that was really nice. They do have these nice patios and uh, picnic tables. It is a little weird how the patio is kind of up above where you come out. I don't know. I, I It did make it easier to park, I will say that, than when we've had to park right next to a concrete at a place. So uh, it just made it a little tricky for um, our screen that we have attached to our awning. I'll pop up a picture of that so you can see. That it was just a little hard to tie that down with the patio being there. In case you're curious, we were in site 34. This is um, in a row of several 50 amp spots. I'll um, show a picture of the map too, so you can kind of give it an idea of where they are. Um, so this section, the one on the very end, well, the two on each end are not 50 amp, but the rest all through here on this side anyway are 50 amp. This side, they are not 30, uh, 50 and they're 30. But something neat about this spot too that I wanted to mention is that uh, it doesn't back to another spot. So 
we had all this open area back here behind us, which gave us plenty of room for our deck to come down in the back. That was really nice. And it just kind of felt more like just camping in the mountains and not just in the campground since we didn't have someone right behind us. A lot of the other spots um, you do back to each other. So this is the clubhouse. Uh, this is where you'll find laundry, like bathrooms, and the outdoor pool is right over there too, which I just felt the water, and it actually feels really, really warm. As you may have noticed here and there, the wind was pretty bad this day, so I'm going to just do a voiceover here and tell you about this area. You can see that big building ahead, and that is the office and I believe rec center. We saw signs that that's where they were going to have bingo. Uh, this is also where you'll find the indoor pool, and I believe there's a hot tub in there. The boys went there a few times with the grandparents. Another thing I wanted to point out here is that they have a lot of RV parking for when you're checking in. They do have like a guard shack where there would be a gate, but there actually is no gate. And from what we can tell, no one is ever in there. Uh, you'll go inside to check in. As of now, anyway, we have yet to see anyone in there the three weeks we've been here. Quite an amazing view over here of Blue Mesa Reservoir. Um, we've watched it fill up over the last three weeks, and that's been pretty cool to see. This pond here is a little fishing pond for kids 12 and under. From the office, we're going to walk down toward the family center where you'll find the pull-through sites and cabins. There are lots of cabins even to the left here as well. But lots of cabins down here. And then this cute little area they call the wilderness. Um, I, I, uh, Jeremy likes to call it the woodlands. And I think that's kind of fun too. It sounds kind of mysterious and magical. <laughs> but they do call it uh, the wilderness or wilderness area. And if I do believe that the wilderness area does not have sewer at the least, maybe not hookups, not sure about water and electric, but um, so they do have a fairly nice looking dump station that you'd be able to use if you were down there. So here we have another neat view of the reservoir. <laughs> As we go down the hill, there is a what they call a family center. There are games in there. This is also where like the basketball court is and mini golf. The boys played air hockey several times and really have fun doing that. So something else that's really nice here is that they have uh, parking for trailers. If you have to trailer in a boat or Jeremy's parents had to trailer in their quad, uh, they were able to park here and not have to squeeze it into their spot. That was really nice. And then, let's see. These are the pull-through sites over here. They were over here. They did have to leave already today, but they were in this site here. Down this way, we've got some of the cabins. Lots of them all the way over that way. And then if we go this way, we should be able to get to the wilderness area. So down this way is the wilderness area where there's room for tents. Uh, there's a little creek down there as well. It's uh, a nice little area to walk to. It's shady and you've got the sound of the water running. We've really enjoyed walking down there. Okay, I would walk you down there to the wilderness area, but I'm running out of time. And we're getting ready to leave here very soon. Jeremy's meeting should be wrapping up and so I'm going to head back up and help him get all loaded up so we can head to the next spot. So a couple things. Uh, cell phone service isn't great. You can get it here and there uh, down by the family center and those spots over there. They've been able to get it there and they they do have wi-fi but it does get a little bogged down because a lot of people are using it I think. Our Starlink has worked really, really well, so if you have that, you have nothing to worry about. And then the other thing I wanted to mention too is that 
um, I would do as much of your grocery shopping as you can before you come. They have some um, small grocery stores, um, a Walmart that's probably the smallest Walmart I've ever seen. <laughs> Keep an eye out on Instagram. We might do some reels on things to do in the Gunnison area, uh, places to go, things to see. The boys and Jeremy did a lot of riding. Uh, we did a hike or two. Um, it's it's really a pretty place. And um, oh, and last week we had the video about uh, the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. <laughs> That's quite a mouthful. Uh, we really enjoyed that. And so if you want to know about that, I will put a link for that video down in the description. And let us know if you have any questions about this campground, if you're thinking of coming here. Uh, we'd love to answer your questions or try and find out the answers for you. We'll see you later. Bye.